In this video I will show you how to make realistic sun rays with Luminar 2018. In my opinion this feature of Luminar 2018 justifies the entire program. Back when it was released in the beginning of 2018, a lot of uh, questionable edits using this tool were released on Instagram and you can see a few of my own over the top edits here. I will however with this video show you how to use this tool in a more delicate way. If you want to try out the program for free or even buy it, I have some affiliate links down below where you can also apply my discount code to get a discount for the program. So the entire point is to make something which your eye would accept as more or less realistic. So what I want to do here is I want to add a little bit of glow coming through the arch here. And I want to use Skylum Luminar 2018 to create that glow or that sunbeam. Now Skylum or Luminar 2018 works as a standalone program or you can have it as an extension to Photoshop. I personally prefer to work in Photoshop because I have way more control than what Skylum offers as a standalone program. So what you want to do is add filter and go down and choose sun rays. First and foremost you want to place the sun center and as you can see it's an AI. It analyzes the photo and makes a suggestion to how sun rays would interact with your photo. So in the brighter points the sun shines through and where you can see the cloud here it, it tries to dampen down the sun. It's not always perfect but that is why I prefer to work in Photoshop so I can always mask out the parts which I don't want to use. So in this case I want to place the sun center just about where the sun is in reality as to get the effect of the sunbeams shining through the the arch. Everything here on the left, all the other sunbeams, we can just ignore. I don't want to use those so I will just mask them out afterwards in Photoshop. So with all other programs you use for photo editing you very rarely want to push the sliders too much and it's exactly the same in this case. So the amount and look sliders over here change how strong the effect is. Numbers change how many sunbeams comes out from the sun center. We don't want many but we're not going to use them anyway so, so generally you, you don't need to change that too much in this example here. Length is of course the length of the sunbeams as I don't want the sunbeams to be too long uh, it should be fine something like this. Warmth changes the color and of course you want the color to match up with the background color for it to make sense so just about something like this here. The lower section here has something to do with the glow and the glow comes out from the sun center and as we don't really use the sun center, we don't need to change the, the, the glow factors down here. Penetration is the one that changes quite a lot. If you push the saturation slider to the left, it will only affect the highlight parts of the photo and make sunbeams come out from there. And as you push it right, you start include more and more of the mid-tone parts. So you can see there's these small brighter points of the arch where the program now thinks that I want to include and have the light shine through. But I, I really don't want that so I will just like take the penetration quite a lot down again. Randomize is just different ways the, the sunbeams can shine through in the photo. And in this particular case, I just want something that covers the entire arch. So this one works fine. And maybe I want to add just a little bit more to the amount. I can always mask it out afterwards. So something like this here. That looks fine. So now I just apply the entire effect and it exports it to Photoshop. What I want to do is I want to mask out the parts I don't need, which is everything here on the left. So I just add a mask. And in this particular case, because I just want to use a small part of the photo, 
I just invert the mask and then I choose a brush and then I brush in with a white brush. I hit X to change it from black to white or vice versa. And then I just paint in the parts of the photo that I want, something like this. So in this way, we have created some pretty cool sun rays. So here's another example, also from the Faroe Islands. Here the idea is to have the sun rays push through the clouds over here and down to illuminate the foreground and maybe cast some beautiful rays of light over the island Kelsoy here on the left. So we go to Filter, Skylum, Lumina 2018. So as with the first example, go to sun rays. We place the sun center just about where we want it, something like this here. In this particular case, we have to bring down the penetration quite significantly. Something like this here. Here and let's see if we can find something where it kind of makes sense. Something like this here. Here we can really see how the the sun interacts with the cliffs here. This one creates some pretty good light beams. So let's see, we want to push the amount and the look a little bit. How many do we want? Something like this here, the length, maybe a bit longer. And then this one, I just want to like Push them around a little bit to see where it makes the most sense. Something like this here. And it really is very subjective and very relative from picture to picture how you want to apply this effect. So in this case here, this looks well, kind of nice. I like it. Maybe I want to push it a bit further back or maybe all the way up here. So what I'm aiming for is to have like the sunbeams hit me standing down there on the cliffs, so something like this here, without going completely overboard with the effect. So changing the amount, the numbers, something like this here, and how long do we want them? So this kind of looks like something I like. All right, so I changed the randomize a little bit. A slider I didn't show in the first example is this one filter amount where you can actually just change how much of the filter. It's like opacity, taking down the opacity in Photoshop. So I am still going to mask out quite a lot of this effect, but uh, let's just push it into Photoshop and see what makes sense to mask out. So back here in Photoshop, I will just make a mask and start removing the beams that I know I don't need. And in this case, I just do it with a graduated filter. So something like this here. And maybe take out a little bit of the top beam here. And I can bring down the opacity a little bit. So in this way, compositionally, we have like a triangle of the light coming in here from the left and up to the rain clouds here, whoops, up to the rain clouds here on the right. And then we have the sky and that's quite a nice composition. So in this way, I integrated the sunbeams with my composition. Last example here from Snowdonia, I have like this bright spot over here on the right and I want to have a sunbeam shine through that one. And just as before, place the sun center. I know that the sun center is just over here somewhere like this and I want to make something which looks quite realistic and again adds to the composition where I have the sun ray which is parallel with the water down here. So I know already by now that I'm going to mask out the, the upper part here because obviously the light can't shine through a, a thick cloud. I want to add a little bit to the length here, not too much. And that's about it. So press apply. All right. And I want, as I said, to mask out the upper part here. So something like, like this here. 
So, before and after, we have a nice sunbeam, which creates some, a lot of mood and drama to this photo here. So, the philosophy is to make something that the eye would accept as, well, that could actually have happened. As of the release of this video, Skylum is having a sale on Lumina 2018. You can combine the coupon code down below in the description with this sale, so you can get an even greater discount.